Good morning. Well, the birds are singing and it's feels pretty awesome out. So brought the old 1939 Chevy Master 85 Business Coupe out of the trailer. Um, I stored it in there for the winter because um, I obviously don't have any room here. Um, but if you've watched some of the last few uh, videos, I was going to say episodes, I guess it kind of is. Um, I'm going to be selling my truck. So this is going to end up being my daily driver for a while, I guess. So I need to do an oil change on it. And um, sometimes when I'm taking off, at least here, just here recently, it feels like the left rear, when I try to go in gear, it feels like the left rear is grabbing. And if I back up um, and then go forward, it usually disengages. So I don't know if the wheel cylinder's sticking or if there's a spring in there sticking, something like that. So I'm going to do an oil change, check all the other fluids, and then we'll look into that rear end and see what's kind of going on. But I'll do a quick little walk around, show you the car, and uh, we'll go from there. So here we have the gorgeous 1939 Chevy Master 85 Business Coupe. This was a nice little AACA award winner back in the 80s. Um, I bought it, um, let's see, well, I'm the third owner, or our family's the third owner of this car. The second owner, which took it to the AACA, um, they restored the car back 1979 and 19 or 78 79 and a little bit of 80 um, it is flawless underneath um, not too bad everywhere else it was a very pretty car um, I haven't really had to do much to it but yeah it's a uh, pretty slick we'll show you under uh, the underside here later here's the inside I've got the factory heater down there I don't know if it works, but I probably need to check that. And we got over here, we have the city horn and the country horn. So it'll let you know what's going on. Here in the back, we have all the original tools, thing like that. So yeah, pretty slick little car. Pretty, pretty nice. We do have a few little issues. You can kind of see our windows here. They're kind of, this one's kind of, I don't know if it's fogged out, but you can see the laminations kind of messing up. And we got a few little spots we need to worry about that's the air conditioning just if you wanted to know so yeah pretty oops slow almost ran over the tripod very pretty car so let's get into it underneath and i'll show you what that looks like it needs a mercedes for a gold wing it's a nice little bat wing hood here there you can see our two different horns there motor and everything's really clean everything is really nice in here and we'll come over to this side and show you there. A little carter carb and our horn. So, yeah, here we are underneath. You can see very clean. Way back. I mean, that's just a little dirt from roads and car shows and stuff like that. But, yeah, this thing is uh, pretty pretty clean underneath get over here i'll show you down here too oh, like all these groaning there we go it's uh very clean no oh, let me get you out of here hello how are you so this is the left rear this is the one that's kind of sticking so I don't know what we're going to have to do about that. We're going to have to figure that out. Here we go onto the trunk. Oh, we still got some the old car show stuff in there. But the guy, when he restored it, I mean, he did it, he did it right down to the wiring loom and cloth and everything else. So, yeah, it's a very, did a very good job and it's held up over the years. Now we're going to start it, uh, let the engine run for a little bit just to get it warm, and then we'll get everything drained out of it.
we in here. Temp gauge, fuel gauge, speedometer's 54,000. Battery and our oil pressure. There's our throttle, our choke cable. That's our air conditioning lever. And then down there's our heater box. And we got our fuel. Here we got our headlights. And then we got our fog lights, heater, and auxiliary. Don't know what the auxiliary does. Don't know. All right, we'll get a little warm up for a minute. I'm back. Oh, try to get under here. There it is. Get that out of the way. Alright. Let's see here. Hopefully you're at a splash distance. We got some seepage here. Get ready. There we go. That ain't too bad. All right. Let's put the Put that up there. All right, we're gonna let that drain out for a little bit. Make sure we got everything out of it. Yeah. All right. So while the oil's draining, I jacked up the rear. Got some jack stands under it so I can take the rear wheel, wheel off. Um, but this is got some hydraulic brakes in it. it. Should be a pretty simple system. But on these old cars, we have to lift up the mat, and there's a, a little grommet type thing that we got to pull out. And then on the passenger side. There's like a metal case and that's how you put the battery and stuff in so a little bit different from what we're typical used to oh okay that over there all right let's see if you can see that yep you can see it cool Bow. so all that is is just a little rubber plug and then you can see that there's our master cylinder so we're going to loosen it up see if we got fluid in it i guess that's the first first step it just doesn't make sense it's got to be just a little son of a gun Ugh. it's got to be just the spring or maybe the emergency brake but i don't know I can't see nothing. Well, I barely touched, so I'm gonna fill that up and uh, then we'll get the rear wheel off. Right, so I have Aiden in the car. He's going to pull the emergency brake so we can test that. We should see these levers move. So go ahead and pull the emergency brake. Okay, is that tight? All right, stop. All right. So that's tight. The wheel's not moving. All right. So mercy brakes on. Okay. Now release it. I'm putting pressure on it. Pull the trigger. There you go. Okay. That all the way down. All right. Let go of that one. All right. Well, it's not the mercy brake, so that's good. All right. Pump it. Now hold it. Are you holding it to the floor? Don't let go. Let me check the other tire real quick because that one's still moving. All right. Keep holding it. Okay, pump it. Nothing came out. All right, hold it to the floor. All right, pump it. Okay, hold it. Oh, I got some fluid. Sweet. Okay, pump it again. All right, hold it. All right, pump it. Hold it. All right, pump it. 
Okay, hold it to the floor. All right, pump it. Okay, how many times you pump it? All right, hold it. Is it holding to the floor? Well, that's not good. Really? I had my son pump the brakes and wasn't getting anything out of the back. So there's only one line that comes off the master cylinder um, on the line that runs to the back. I loosened that, he pumped it, and stuff came everywhere. So it's from that line to the back. Lines look brand spanking new. So I, the only thing I can think of is it's the wheel cylinder, it's stuck or something. So I'm gonna take the brake off and uh, just to kind of see what we got, I guess. And I've never taken these apart, so I don't know if this is right or not. Hopefully. Oh, hey. Okay, nothing spring, spring apart. Dang, what is that? Why is there a zip tie in there? What? Well, I can guarantee you that is not supposed to be there. Okay, well, what would that... Hmm. All right. Let me get the snips. I won't cut that out. So, I know we don't need that. That spring's on there. That's there. That looks good. All those springs are there. That is worn down there. I bet that thing was just... Man, that's almost like they're glazed a little bit. Well, let me put this back on and see. Well... So that was pretty tight. Let's see, we got screw holes, don't we? Like that. Yeah. Okay, let me put that back in. I don't think that would have. I don't think. Well, see, I was talking to myself. I don't understand. It's just still let fluid through and let that tighten up. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, see, see, that's what it does. It locks up. See how tight that is? And then if I back it off, oh, what's not wanting to back off? Oh, it's not. I need it and stick it in gear. Uh, he had it in gear. This doesn't make sense. Well, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to bleed the other side and see if I get bang cars. I'm gonna bleed the other side because this one's weird. I usually go farthest away from this master cylinder, but with the lines on this, you do left rear, left front, right rear, right front. Um, so maybe I'll just go ahead. I oh, see. I still need to do this one. Dang, man. I don't know. I look brand new in there. Is that too tight? Let me spin the other side. See what that does. Hopefully you can see this. All right. So this is the main line that comes back from the front, from the T for the, um, to go to the front brakes. Comes back here. I disconnected this before. He pumped the brakes and this spilled fluid out. So then we got this rubber hose, goes back to this T, to that brake and to that brake. Um, I disconnected the line at the back of the wheel on this side, pumped it, nothing came out. And those lines look amazing. So I'm thinking it's gotta be this line or the T. I'm just gonna disconnect this. And then we're gonna see if we can shoot some fluid through it. If not, we'll go up to O'Reilly and see if we can get a, a part but I think this is our culprit. All right, well, we cleaned out our T and I can see right through it. So that's not the problem. Then we got to this hose and on the edges, I don't know if you can really see it or not. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but I see a lot of rust build up there. So I took a wire and trying to get through some of it 
I don't know if it like drops down more or if that's just solid. I tried both sides just to see how far I can get, but I don't know if there's like a check valve or something, which I wouldn't think, but I can't move it. So I'm thinking this is rusted out. I don't want to cut it. I'm going to guess run up to O'Reilly and see if I can get a, a hose that matches this. So be back shortly. All right. Let's get back from O'Reilly. Didn't have it in stock, uh, but they trying to rush it today. Missed it. They cut off by like seven minutes. Um, so possibility today, worst case tomorrow. So either way, not a big deal. Um, I think this is our culprit though. So we'll see. I wanted to cut this and see. I figured this should be um, should be clogged up. I already ordered one. Obviously can't use it. So I wanted to cut and see if there's any gunk inside of it, which hopefully there is. And those scissors are just garbage. Look at the big ones. I think this is the original one they had from when they uh, restored this back in 79 and 80. Oh, yep. Dang. Oh, it's running out that way. Yeah, that's, uh, you can't, I'm, I'll put it up here, but you won't be able to see it, but it's, uh, it's really clogged. Anyway, I think my, yeah, lordy sakes. So this is the original one. Um, when the guy restored it in 80, uh, once they got done with it, they drove around to a bunch of shows, all, all the AACA events, um, won quite a few prizes, and then stuck it in the collection and kind of sat there. So I'd say that's probably what hurt it, just sitting there, clogging it up. But everything else looks really good. I mean, you know it hasn't been driven too much. If you can still see the DOT numbers and all that kind of stuff on this hose, so, yeah, is what it is. Um, I guess I'm going to put some oil in it. Um, check the fluids for that. I am going to take off the right rear tire, see if there's a zip tie or something. I don't know. Um, still baffles me. The only thing I think of, they tried to put the wheel, wheel cylinder on by themselves, zip tied it, tighten the bolt, and forgot to... Take it off, I guess. I don't know. There's no reason other than that I can think of. So I'm going to put the left rear back on and pop off the right real quick just to make sure there's not a zip tie. And then, uh, again, we'll put the oil in it, check that. And while that's while we're checking that, maybe we'll turn the heater on and see if that works. I don't know. Huh. Good looking little car, though. All right. Let's, uh, if there's a zip tie. I'll show you. Yeah. You have to admit, there is a pretty good little shine right now. You know, it's been in the trailer for the winter. Oh, let's see here. I think I feel pretty good that this new brake hose is the problem when I mean, just look at all the hard lines I mean, they look almost brand new so and i i mean 1980 i mean that's been what 30 or 30 something years ago so i think that's what it is i'm going to leave the cap off so I'll get the other side so I get on the ground, then I'll put the breaker bar on it and give a little bit of oomph. So I'll go get the other side off. Oh. You want to come with me? Oh! Whew. That was a close one. All right. What's the odds? Zip tie or no? Oh, 
That's been clogged. I've been driving this just with front brakes. I mean, I thought they were a little soft, but or didn't seem to stop like, hey, I'm stopping now, but I don't know. I had a Model A like three, four years ago, and that was just not good to stop at. All right, good, no zip tie. Everything looks good in there. Cool, let's put that one back together. I'm not even gonna mess with that. There's my screw holes. That there. Oh. Well, how'd it go? Uh, you think you do what they ask you? You're on video right now, too, by the way. Video. But they, I don't think they can see you. That's Shelby. Say hi, Shelby. <laughs> now you're nervous before they can even see you. No zip tie. That makes me feel good. So that's why I'm. Even if I didn't have brakes, that I didn't know I didn't have brakes, I think with the wheel spinning, somehow it got that zip tie and maybe wedged it. Did something, I don't know. And then I'd have to reverse to get out of it, which would make sense to pull the zip tie out of it. And maybe it would fall down and be fine until it caught it again. I don't know. That's my theory. What do you think? I don't know. So we'll get this tied up. And I'm going to leave it off the ground for now because it makes it a little bit easier sliding underneath it for tomorrow. Um, I'll get some oil in it. And, uh, yeah. Now, I don't know if I really pointed it out before, but, I mean, it is gorgeous underneath here. I mean, that's, that's the trunk. I mean, everything is really, really nice. Well, O'Reilly came through. Um, my brake line came in. I also had to go get a copper washer. The ones I had just didn't fit right. So I am replacing the copper washer. I cleaned up the drain plug too. So we'll go ahead and get this back in and get the oil filled up. And then we'll work on the rear brakes. All right, well, I had to go to the other side and switch it. So I got this part tied into the T. That's tight. I'll go ahead and tighten these up, and then I'll put my clip on it, and then I'll shimmy to the other side, and i get the clip back on the other side again. On it. Okay. Okay, pump it. All right, hold it. Oh, jeez. Okay, pump it. Okay, hold it. Woo! Did it move? Sweet. All right, pump it. Hold it. Oh, jeez. Good, pump it. Hold it. Pump it. Hold it. Pump it. Hold it. All right, pump it. I'll clean all that off. You're holding it? Huh? <laughs> I can't move the wheel. Let off. Woo! Hot diggity. Okay, we're going to go to the left front and Work our way around to the back, and then we'll see what we got. Take that down the garage, would you? Hurry up. <laughs> I'm waiting on you. Yeah, just leave it there. That's good. Thank you. All right, just come up here and wait. I'm almost done with this. Yeah, you can. All right, so we got all the brakes bled. We got juice. Um, all four corners. Um, the 
left rear had quite a bit. Um, the left front, not hardly, I don't even think there's really any air. Um, the right front, I probably had to do like four times. And then this left or this right rear, it uh, was about the same as the other side. So but we got juice. He held the brakes. I tried to spin the tire. It didn't move. So we got zip ties removed. We should be good to go. Gorgeous. Put that behind there. I'll get the other side tied up. Hey, hello. Get the other side tied up real quick. Right, well, hopefully you can hear me. I don't know if you can see me. I'm in the car. All right, we got everything tightened up. We're going to start her and uh, check our oil. Put the key on. A little throttle. There we go, you're getting oil pressure. Pretty neat to just pull the throttle to or the little uh, tube, or the little tube. Man, I can't even talk. Pretty neat to be able to just pull the little lever and be able to lock it. I guess that's like your cruise control. All right. Let's check it. Aiden, check underneath, make sure nothing's dripping out. You would know it if it was. Dry. Okay, I need to put in, that's about right in the middle, so I'm going to finish putting that quart in there. And we'll try that. So this is, I told you about this before, we're pretty warm, so we shouldn't have to worry about maybe choking it too much. All right, let's see here. Like that wine of the old 40. Oh, oh, sound like that wanted to lock up or something, didn't it? Man, it, that rear's still locking up for some reason. Holy smokes, what the heck! Okay, well, the brakes work really well. Okay, go ahead and turn it off. We gotta go back to the house. Okay, well, we pulled it back in the driveway and so I got the glasses on because I tried to do this and I was squinting too hard. Um, pulled it back in the driveway, took it apart and the cal or the cylinder wasn't attaching to the, the brake pads right. So I stripped it off and put it back together, tried to make it match the rear, let it spin. It seemed to spin fine without the drum, the drum on and it messed up a little bit. So I slept on it, it was really bugging me. Read a bunch of the forms, reached out to a bunch of guys, and I mean, everything looked right. And where we bled it, I know I was getting pressure. So put it back together, um, decided to take it for a drive. Took off fine, didn't lock up, and uh, went around the neighborhood, didn't lock up again, hit the brakes hard a couple times. Pedal was a little soft, but I think that was because uh, where we bled it before, the cylinder wasn't already extended all the way. That wasn't adjusted right so adjusted that out and i just bled the brakes again got a big chunk of air out of there which i think is what was needed um, so i got a good pedal now didn't lock up at all um, so i guess i'm gonna be driving it if it does it again uh, we'll go from there but uh, going around the neighborhood there's hills hit the brakes going down the hill up the hill and didn't happen again stopped let it roll back tried to get it to do it again because uh, it was pretty much consistent before where we'd lock up and have to reverse and do it again. But, I mean, I'm not complaining. I think that's a heck of a daily driver because, oh, Lordy sakes, falling apart. Because, got to get rid of that bad boy. 
Uh, Got to keep the family in a good situation until I can find me a job. I can always find another truck. Not a big deal. So you see me around in that. Stop and wave. Say hello. Um, but yeah, it was a little headache trying to figure it out. Didn't make sense why it wasn't working. But again, I think since I bought it, I didn't have rear brakes since that line was clogged up. So that's fixed. Everything seems good now. Got fresh oil change. I'm ready to ride. So I appreciate you all turning into the channel for this other video. Um, reached out to the people again about the flathead and they're still not in town. Still looking for another one. And hopefully I can find something soon so we can get back on the old belly tank here. Um, that's the ultimate goal. So yeah, if you got any questions, comments, please reach out. I appreciate everything that's coming through so far. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, help get those numbers up. And uh, if there's anything you all wanna see um, down the road or more details on something, please reach out and we'll kind of go from there. But I appreciate it and I'll see you on the next video.